Greg, we're starting here in the driveway because I wanted to show you something. You see that gate up there? Yeah. <laughs> that was our only access to build what we built in this backyard. How high would you say that wall is? Eight feet. It's about seven or eight feet tall. So we actually had to lift the machines up in there. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna head inside. It is an overcast day in Lincoln Park, New Jersey, which is a suburb of New York. Yes. Okay, Jack, how are you from Atlantis Water Gardens? What's up, Greg? I'm Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy. It's all about living the aquascape lifestyle, and this, I can already tell, is a pretty eclectic, eccentric customer of yours. Yes, that's for sure. <laughs> he loves carvings, as you can see. Awesome. Throughout the yard, there are these tiki's every place. He had a guy come and carve some of these from trees that died, and he just made some carvings here, but you're gonna see as we enter the house, it continues. We've oh got, my gosh. We've got some more interesting stuff inside there before we even get to what we built. Here's what I love. I love not just seeing the beautiful water features, but the very unique, <laughs> characters that we get to meet in this vlog. Welcome. Do you feel very welcome? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't mess with this dude. Hey, Fletch. Hello, guys. Uh, How's Jack, it going? How are this you? is uh, my buddy Greg Whitstock. Hey, hey I'm Greg. Hey, Fletch. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. This is Cthulhu. Cthulhu, what does that mean? From a uh, novel, and it's a Metallica show written oh. off of the novel. And this guy's in the Metallica, of course he. Look at this, there's a waterfall in the front of the entranceway. If it wasn't interesting enough outside, check this out inside. I'd say he customized it. Oh my god. Sure. The lights, the rest of it. Oh my word. There is so much cool stuff to see here. We got to kind of get going. Okay, let's go check it out. This is <laughs> unbelievable. So you literally walk into the floor and you get this. And then what's on the other side of the living room? Yep, that side is glass. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. I obviously love waterfalls. This is a nice sound. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm I on your bed, on your big love sack. What a unique and eclectic place, but I love it. Yeah, this looks like, have you ever been to the Rainforest Cafe? Yes. This, this looks just like that. It looks just like it, but with a little bit of a, a Metallica twist. Yes, it's definitely got a Metallica twist. Very cool. So you built the waterfalls in the backyard. We're not gonna get there yet. Okay. Upstairs on the roof. It's cool coming in here, but wait do you see what's outside. Yeah. Wait do you see this, Greg? Oh my gosh, look at this view. It's amazing, isn't it? It literally is, it, it's mind blowing. I do not feel like I'm in Jersey. No, the water wall is not why he bought oh. this house. And there's the waterfall. This is why he bought this house, right, Fletch? You can't find this too many places. House, but you can't you can't build this kind of view. That is incredible. You wake up to this every day and you look down there and then you've got that waterfall that's built. Yeah, this is great. So 
How long ago did Jack put this in? Back in uh, May of this uh, this year. This, okay, so this is just a few months old then. Huh. I'm assuming that the biggest challenge, this is a beautiful pond this waterfall, but was trying to get all the equipment in, right? You can see there's not a whole lot of space here. And we had to come up off the driveway with everything. So actually Fletch got us a machine that we can lift all the material up onto uh -huh. here. And staging was an issue here. We had to be very careful about not putting too much stuff on our way so we could still okay. get access. But this was, uh, turned out really unique. How does Catula like it? She loves it. Throw the ball, she's usually in there most of the time we're out here. How did you find uh, Atlantis? Driving by. Okay, um, so you saw their showroom. I saw it on uh, Route 10. I was thinking about doing a waterfall for a while. I liked what I seen out front, so I stopped in. I uh, met Jack and his wife. And yeah. Like a good tattoo artist, sometimes you don't actually have to see a rendering. You just make a connection with the guy and you, you have faith in him. Well, it's funny because you see how particular he is about decorating. He's very good at it. Yes. So he had a very specific vision of what he wanted to see back here. And Did we hit it? Uh, no, exceeded it. Hey, <laughs> oh hey man. That, that, that says bus. something with a guy that has as eclectic of a taste as this. No, I knew it would be cool, but it was um, a lot cooler than I, I was planning on. It, it looked like it was always here. Like it, that, that's the uh, goal. I bought the house and it, Mother Nature built it, not Jack. That's, what, that's the way it looked. That's what we tried to go for. I gotta say, I see a lot of properties, a lot of waterfalls and water gardens in this channel. I've never seen a property and a water feature, like especially the one indoor, as unique as this one. You're a unique character. I really appreciate the hospitality, but Jack. You hit it out of the park again with this one. What an incredible visit this has been. This is why I love my job. I get to tour unique people, unique water features, unique houses, and everything I love about my job can be summarized up in this vlog. We are in Livingston, New Jersey. It's an overcast day, but it's perfect for filming. We're with Jack Haru from Rick? Atlantis Water Gardens. He's gonna show us a pond that you built when, Jack? Three years ago. Okay, so nice. So should we fill in a little bit? What I love about it too is, well, it's a long yard, kind mm -hmm. of a narrow yard, but right outside their main living area, right? That's their kitchen or? Which is always where you want to position a water feature where you can see it from multiple vantage points. Yeah, house, on the patio, up yes. next to it. You want to be able to enjoy it multiple places. Wow, look at the size of some of the hoops. Terrell, <laughs> holy cow. So they got some fish down here. I mean, look at the size of the aquatic plants. So that's a, your biofalls right up there that's with the, the water hyacinths. Hyacinth. Look how big the hyacinths are. The yep. hyacinths, which you know, are terrific filter plants. Yep. The water's passing up through the biofalls, hitting the root zone, coming out, and you can see how clear the water is. It looks like a tropical paradise back here with the elephant ears and the hyacinth and the canna, like so many tropical plants here that it's got so much vibrant color. And I love the whole living space. I mean, this is a beautiful bench in here with a fire pit. So you just want to come over here and just sit down. And this is part of living the aquascape lifestyle. It's the rest of the surrounding area. You got that nice sound of a... <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were sitting... Ah, I yeah, we I got the heebie-jeebies. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I'm a married man. <laughs> you goofball. This has been a long day with Jack here. Former artist of the year, certified aquascape counter, three-year-old water feature. What would something like this go for from Atlantis? So this is our Tranquility uh -huh. Deluxe Pond. It's a 10 by 14 pond with a waterfall. Base price is $99.95. They've got a lighting package on this and a couple other add-ons, so that adds it up. But what's cool is you can come to our display and see this actual pond, see how much it costs. We have the book where you can see what the add-ons are, yes. and you can kind of price it out before you even have us come out or right. go on the website and do that. And one of the reasons that I like to share pricing on this when it makes sense is for people to get a perspective. This is basically 10 grand. This is basically a hot tub for fish instead of people. But I gotta tell you one thing. There's nothing wrong with hot tubs. I like hot tubs. You're gonna put a water feature in no one's gonna come in that backyard and not say something about that water feature. Hot tubs, everybody has. 
Not everybody has opportunity to have a water feature like this in their yard, and that's what differentiates a yard. Stop trying to get the grass greener, put in a water feature, rip out the grass, put in a water feature, and create a real talking point. What's so cool about this is that two or, or whatever years ago when we built this, mm -hmm. it didn't look like this. Growing in every year, it changes the look exactly. of the pond and it enhances it and looks even better. It so. gets nicer. We're in a typical suburban neighborhood. They've got a beautiful outdoor living area, all inspired because of a water feature as part of that outdoor living area. So fantastic work once again, Jack. I absolutely love going around and touring and seeing what people do. Because even though this is your tranquility package, tranquility no watch. two water features look exactly alike because no two rocks are exactly alike. No two settings are exactly alike. So each one is a unique work of art, one of a kind custom creation. Like, comment, subscribe so more people can see what living the aquascape lifestyle is all about. I love my job. <laughs>